Hi, let's find or simplify this. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, we are going to call whatever we have inside this bracket x. Yeah, just follow me step by step. This is how you solve this type of question. It's always easy. So we can say let 1 plus 317 divided by 2 be equal to x. All right, so this implies that we're actually looking for x to the power of 6, right? Okay, now cross multiply. Let's cross multiply. If we cross multiply, this is x over 1. So we have 2 times x will give us 2x is equal to this times 1 is still the same thing, 1 plus 317. Okay, now let's transfer this to this side. We are going to have 2x minus 1 is equal to 17. All right, so to remove this root sign, let's take, let's square both sides of the equation. Okay, square both sides. So if we square both sides, we have 2x minus 1, all squared, is equal to square root of 17 squared. Now a minus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So here our a is 2x. And our b is 1. So let's expand in this form. So we have a squared, that is 2x squared, plus b squared, that is 1 squared, minus 2 multiplied by a, multiplied by b. Is equal to this, we remove this, and we have 17. So 2 squared is 4. So we have 4x squared, plus 1, minus 4x is equal to 17. So we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1, just taking this to the other side. Now let's transfer this to this side. So we have minus 17 is equal to 0. So this gives us 4x squared minus 4x minus 16 is equal to zero. Please hit the subscription button, turn the notification bell. If this is the first time you have seen this lovely channel, give us a thumbs up. If you love what we are doing, always tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Okay, thank you very much. So moving forward, let's divide through. Let's divide through by four. Dividing both sides by 4. So we are going to have so we are going to have 4x squared divided by 4 minus 4x divided by 4. Okay, sorry, my camera tripped off. I don't know where, but what I actually did there is this is what we got, right? Then we had 4x squared minus 4x minus 16 equals 0. So we are dividing both sides by 4, which is what I wrote here. Okay? So let's continue. This we divide this, we are left with x squared. All right? Minus this we divide this, we have x. This we divide this, we have minus 4 is equal to 0. All right. Now we have x squared is equal to, let's transfer this negative x to the other side. We have positive x and negative 4 becomes positive 4. Now, this is the most important equation in this thing that we are doing. So, we call it equation 1. That is the most important equation. Now, let's go back to the question. We are looking for x to the power of 6 since we said let this be equal to x. And I want us to analyze it this way. All right? So, x, <clears throat> excuse me, 
let me write this that x squared is equal to x plus 4. That is the most important equation right now. Now, remember that we are looking for x to the power of 6, right? Which is equal to x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3. Okay? So, in order to achieve that, let us take q. Let's cube both sides of equation 1. So, let's cube both sides. So, we are going to have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 is equal to x plus 4 raised to the power of 3. All right. Now, moving forward, we have x to the power of 6 is equal to, now before that, a plus b raised to the power of 3 is equal to, I want to see if I can change this marker. Okay, so let me use this. Now, a plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 plus 2, sorry, plus 3a squared b plus 3b squared a. Sorry, this is not good at all. No, 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 it's not good at all. So let's continue with this. I think it's high time I changed my marker. I'm going to put that into consideration. So this is it, all right? Now in this case, our a is x and our b is 4. So we have a is equal to x and b is equal to 4. So moving forward, this will be x to the power of 6 is equal to, then we have a to the power of 3, that is x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 plus 3 brackets, our a is x squared multiplied by b, which is 4, okay, then plus 3, our b is 4, 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by a, our a is x, all right, so, Moving forward, we have x to the power of 6 is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 is 64, right? So we have 64 plus here we have 3 times 4 is 12, 12x 12 squared, 12x squared plus 3 times 4 squared. That is 3 multiplied by 16x. And this is what we have. Okay. So moving forward, we have x to the power of 6 is equal to x to the power of 3 can be written as x squared multiplied by x. Plus, we have 64 plus 12x squared plus 48x. Okay. But x squared is equal to x plus 4, okay? x squared is x plus 4. So we have x to the power of 6 is x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 64 plus 12 brackets. x squared is x plus 4 plus 48x. We just have to be careful from here so that we don't miss anything. Okay, so now we have x to the power of 6 is equal to, let us um, expand this. So x times x is x squared. 4 times x is 4x plus 64. Plus 12 times x is 12x. 12 times 4 is 48, plus 48x. Okay, um, we still have x squared here. So let's bring in x plus 4 in place of x squared. So we have x to the power of 6 is equal to x plus 4, plus 4x, plus 64, plus 12x, plus 48 plus 48x. So let's group like terms together. So we have x plus 4x 
that is 5x. 5x plus 12x, that is 17x. 17x plus 48x, let's see. Okay, so this is 15 carry one. So we have 65x in total. So we have 65x. Then 4 plus 64 um, is 68. 68 plus 48 should be 116, right? Plus 116. All right. Now, but x is equal to, remember we said let this be both x is equal to 1 plus root 17 divided by 2. So that simply means that we can write this as what x to the power of 6 is equal to 65. Or let me just write it somewhere there. Okay. Have you subscribed to our channel? If you have not, please kindly do that so that you do not forget. All right. Okay. So I think the board looks better now right so this is what we have right now so we can write that x to the power of six is equal to since this is our x let's replace it with this 65 brackets one plus root 17 divided by two plus 16. okay now if we open this bracket we have x to the power of six is equal to um, 65 times 1 is 65. 65 times root 17 is 65 root 17. Divided by 2 plus 16 over 1. Now, moving forward, we have x to the power of 6 is equal to the LCM is 2. When 2 divides itself, 1, 1 times this. We give us the same thing, 65 plus 65 root 17. 1 divided 2 is 2, 2 times 116. This is 116. I remember that correctly. Okay, so this is 116. Yeah, so 2 times 6 is what? Uh, 12. Right to carry 1, 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have. 232 there now if we add 65 to 232 we have that x to the power of 6 is equal to 5 plus 2 is 7 6 plus 3 is 9 so we have 297 plus 65 root 17 divided by 2 so it means that this can be simplified to be this and that is our answer Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.